we're gonna go to five different sites that um, all have on it the same electrical subcontractor called Power Design, who has a history of wage theft allegations. So we're gonna be drawing attention to the fact that wage theft is really prevalent in the construction industry, um, but that also workers have rights on the job. All right, thanks for coming out, everyone. Uh, we are here today because it is International Workers' Day. I'm so happy to be here. We're also here because, unfortunately, some of the workers that are treated worst in D.C. are the people who are building the luxury condos and apartment buildings that are going up in our neighborhoods. And this is one of the ground zeros in D.C. for that kind of construction and that kind of exploitation. So thank you all for coming out and standing with workers. We're particularly concerned about Power Design, which is an electrical subcontractor that has a business model of misclassifying their workers and thereby paying them less than what they're owed. They also have a his track record of not having appropriate licenses, which is very dangerous for workers and residents. Um, and they are expanding. We're going to be visiting five or six sites that they have in this neighborhood in walking distance in one hour. Um, but they're on 20 sites across D.C. and they're expanding in our market. And we want people to know that when you work in D.C., you pay D.C. wages, you follow the law, and you're a good employer. Yeah. Yeah. So with that, we are actually going to parade not very far to these buildings, um, which are, uh, unfortunately, Power Design is working on. Um, and when we get there, we'll have a few words from one of the other members of the Just Pay Coalition.
The construction industry is only one of the industries in DC where we see too much wage theft and an amount of wage theft that the city should be doing a much better job to fight. So I'm excited to have her and members of the worker committee to join us. Thank you. How's everyone doing? Happy May Day. Feliz Dia de los Trabajadores a todos. When we talk about wage theft, of course, on the level, what that means is people not being able to put food on the table, not being able to pay their bills, to feed their kids, to go to school, to pay their medical bills, for life just stopping. It's not an abstract issue. It is a real issue that impacts the people of D.C. on a daily basis. And like Elizabeth said, not just in construction, but we see it across the board. We see it in restaurant industries where you have people both in the front and the back of the house that are working long, hard hours that only to go home and to realize that half their paycheck is missing. And even though we have these laws in DC that are supposed to protect against this happening, it is happening on a daily basis, on an hourly basis, on a minute to minute basis, that these dollars that they deserve are just simply disappearing from paychecks. And there's nothing being done to stop that from happening on the government level. And this is why we're here today, is to make sure across all industries that we are actually making sure that the laws we've passed work for the workers of DC. And because we can keep passing good laws, but there's no point if it's actually not protecting workers day to day. So in restaurant, in childcare, in uh, domestic work, in cleaning homes, on the street, cleaning streets, in the construction industry, in the uh, other hospitality industries, in retail, in working in shops, across the board, the members of our committee for uh, labor justice and for worker solidarity, the Comité de Apoyo Laboral y Poder Obrero, this is what we're seeing. This is what the Comité is seeing every single day and confused as to why their paychecks are just literally disappearing. It's a magic trick that's got to stop and we have to make that stop. Buenas tardes. Uh, yo también soy parte del Comité de Apoyo Laboral y Poder Obrero y uh, es, nos hemos dado cuenta de muchos problemas que hay aquí en Washington DC, también en Maryland y en Virginia. Uh, pero aquí se está dando mucho en esta área donde hay mucha construcción, el abuso, a veces el robo de salario y también en las calles y en las, en las casas donde la, las mujeres inmigrantes están cuidando niños o um, atendiendo a las familias y les han, uh, les han dado a veces más trabajo y con el mismo salario les dan a limpiar una casa en dos semanas o en un mes y les pagan lo de lo de una semana solamente y eso no es justo hay mucha injusticia y no están valorando el trabajo realmente uh, justo justo con, con un salario justo que necesita tener cada trabajador todos nosotros necesitamos uh, uh, unirnos uh, tenemos este comité funcionando de, desde varios años atrás y vamos a seguir luchando. Nadie nos va a parar, ni el viento ni la tormenta, como, como dice mi compañera, y estamos todos para apoyarnos unos a otros. El problema de uno nos afecta a los demás también. So what we do in the committee is actually accompany workers and go together directly to talk to the employer to say that this wage theft has got to stop, that there are laws that we're watching you and that we know that you are taking money away from this worker and we're going to make sure that you stop doing it. So, this es lo que dice como walkbacks in English. Es algo que nosotros estamos haciendo como acompañamiento. So, it's called walkbacks in English. What we're doing as far as accompanying people. No tiene que ser solamente parte del comité, pero fue como un placer si puede unir con nosotros. So, you don't have to be a member of the committee, though we would love if you would join us. 
cada persona puede hacer algo así, que si, es, que, que si sabe de una experiencia de robo de pago, se puede acompañar su compañero hasta la compañía y decir que este no puede pasar aquí en DC, tenemos leyes y este no, no va a, a seguir aquí. So anyone can do this, if you hear about a wage theft issue, go ahead and accompany that person and, and be there as a witness to tell their boss, this is not no longer going to continue and we're going to make sure it does not continue. So... <laughs> So together we can do it. We all have each other's back, and what affects one of us affects all of us. So thank you again. Happy May Day. Feliz Día de los Trabajadores. check in and, and, and stay in the long line, you know, to, to go to, to get our meals and stuff, and I would say it's not fair to us employees. Thank it's, you so much for coming out. Fair, you know what I'm saying? It's not fair to, for a lot of employees who can't go out on their smoke break, they need to try to do something to help employees getting their smoke breaks outside the stadium. All right. Thank you so much for coming out and letting us know what's happening. Okay. Workers, rights are under attack. What do we do? Stand up like that.
and to make sure that they can afford to stay here. Because we know all of these issues are interrelated, right? A government that won't ensure that our folks are getting paid fairly, it's a government that doesn't care who's, well, that maybe does care too much about bringing white people and middle class people into the city and redesigning the city physically, culturally, and that's gotta stop and that's what we're here to do. Now you guys know, A Street and Adams Morgan, they're booming with nightlife, with restaurants, bars, nightclubs. Um, and so I said, well, let's do a 
research project to see how many of these businesses, old and new, know about the Wage Death Prevention Act, know to give their um, their workers an orientation to inform them about these laws that exist in D.C. I visited about 60 businesses and talked to about 265 workers and about eight managers. And out of all those people I spoke to, only 26 people were able to actually file for a paid sick day, actually knew about it, um, and it was really disturbing. It was also disturbing that when I went into businesses, managers, who definitely are supposed to know this information, had no clue, had no clue about paid sick days. I was invited back into break rooms, into kitchens, to verify that they had the proper information on the walls for their staff members. So that was really troubling as well. And just also connecting that, the lack of information that employees and workers have um, about labor laws in D.C., how they just don't know um, that they're supposed to give their, their workers pay sick days or time off um, or even inform them about this information. And it also connects where this, the agency, Department of Employment Services, who's responsible for implementing and enforcing these labor laws in D.C., aren't doing a really good job at it. Um, and so today we're here to make sure that workers, not just in War 6, but all throughout the District of Columbia, are aware of their rights in D.C. and know that they, they are protected. And to reach out to these organizations that you see here, um, because we really do care about the, the people working and staying in the District of Columbia. So happy May Day, guys, and thanks for coming out. Hispanic community, the way they treat the, the worker, you know, they underqualify, they don't get the right pay, and uh, also they put them to work so many hours and don't get them paid overtime. So we're here to support, and thank you for your, all your support, and uh, tell Power Design, they have to go home. This is our home. 
we send the masses and I hope they listen to us this day. So thank you for all your being here. Clark Construction, you can't hide. We can see your greedy side. Clark Construction, you can't hide. We can see your greedy side. Clark Construction, you can't hide. We can see your greedy side. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. Wage theft has got to go. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. Wage theft has got to go. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. Wage theft has got to go. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. Wage theft has got to go. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. Wage theft has got to go. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. Wage theft has got to go. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. Wage theft has got to go. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. Wage theft has got to go. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. Wage theft has got to go. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. Wage theft has got to go. Hey, hey. I just want to say one other thing while we're at this stop because we're here because it's International Workers' Day because we understand the importance of the power of unions. undermining wages that are paying below what they're supposed to pay by misclassifying workers, by saying they're independent contractors, by saying they're all laborers and none of them have skills. They are undermining the ability for good union jobs in DC. Yeah! I know of one construction site where the electrical company, the power design underbid the traditional electrical company, not even a union contractor by $2 million. It is impossible for companies that pay the wages and benefits that the collective bargaining has won to be able to compete in a market where the city allows bottom feeders to just Woo! bottom out the market. Woo! We need these developers that are taking those bids to understand we see them. We are not going to let them continue to do those practices here in D.C. And we need the government to do its job and have a level playing field so that the companies that are doing right by their workers, that are providing the wages and benefits that workers deserve, and that understand the importance of a union and are partnered with our union contractors, that those people are actually competitive in this market. the country deserve to be paid well and fairly for their work and deserve to be able to be part of a union that represents their interests in the face of these multi-million corporations that are making bank on DC right now.
opportunity to pass your message along to those who will be hiring DC workers. We pass along the message that exploitation will not be accepted. So we had the opportunity to talk to Hit Construction, Hit Construction, which uh, JBG is the developer, and they accepted our message, rather stone-faced, but we did get the message across to them that uh, power design is a bad actor, and they have actions against them. And uh, if you choose to, uh, to sub or have them sub for you, then you are jointly liable. That's right. And that's the message that we're putting forth to all of them. So they uh, accepted uh, our packet, the wonderful packet, right? That's right. Like Trump, somebody take responsibility for that, right? Yeah, right. Land lease didn't let us in, all right? They have a car key lock at their turnstile, so, uh, you know, they can keep all uh, good actors out. Uh, but we were able to pass it to an uh, uh, intermediary, for lack of better words. We uh, stopped at uh, the Moriarty uh, site at L2, at the yards, and uh, they accepted our information and, uh, Again, extremely stone-faced. Looks like we were interrupting their meeting. Yes, yes. And that's exactly what we come to do. Agitate, disrupt, and get them straight. All right? And we just talked to Clark Construction, and Clark uh, said that they are aware of uh, our material. And they are, they are doing everything they can to comply, and they're willing to work with uh, folks that will try to hold them accountable. All right? Now, we don't know if that's true or not, but we're going to test them. All right? We're going to try them. And uh, so that was a, a, a positive interaction. All of them brief, but all of them have the same message, that enforcement is foremost on the agenda, and we're going to come for you if you're breaking the law. All right? 